wait a minute. Haven't we been here before? I could have sworn we were here just a month ago. Ah, uh, shit. Well, let's get this over with. Hello, everyone. Skidarmus here, otherwise known as Tone Shift. As I'm sure many of you have noticed, I uploaded a video on the 21st of last month, around about a month ago, in which I explained some technical issues I had been having and how they had been impacting my ability to record. And since then, those technical issues have largely been sorted out, still having a few slowdowns here and there, but it's not nearly as bad as it was, and I, under normal circumstances, would be able to record just fine. And indeed, I promised that I would be getting back into my work hard to try and catch up on what I had missed because I'd fallen so far behind. But uh, looking at my recent video output, it is safe to say that that just hasn't happened now, has it? Uh, well, that's what this video is here to do. It's to summarize what has happened for those of you who don't know. Now, many of you will already know this story, especially if you're part of my Discord server, follow my Patreon page, or pay any attention at all to my community tab here on YouTube. But for those of you who don't do any of those things, and really, what the hell is wrong with you, allow me to take some time to fill you in on what's been going on. So, around two weeks ago, while I was eating lunch, a blood blister formed and popped on the side of my tongue. Now, for those of you who don't know, a blood blister is when a blood vessel under the skin is ruptured or broken open somehow, causing some very minor internal bleeding that leads to blood pooling under the skin, forming this really gross, really red bubble. Now, that happened on my tongue. And it only took like 10 seconds after the blister had formed for it to pop when I accidentally bit down on it. Now, this has happened to me once before with no ill side effect. It just hurt for a day and then I was good. So I didn't think anything of it at the time. And this turned out to be a very poor decision. Over the course of the following days, the spot where the blister burst became cankerous. I'm sure you all know about canker sores. It was irritations in the mouth, usually on the gums, but this was on the tongue, so it was even more unpleasant, and I had to deal with this very painful canker sore on the side of my tongue for quite some time. My tongue was swollen, even the slightest bit of friction between the sore and anything else elicited a pretty intense amount of pain, and since it's on the side of my tongue, my teeth are right there, so anytime I opened my mouth to do anything or shifted in any way, my sore would rub up against my teeth and it hurt oh it hurt uh, so yeah and on top of that my tongue like I said a moment ago was very swollen which means that my tongue sounded a lot like this which was very suboptimal so it goes without saying that with all of that with my speech muffled by the swollen tongue and all of the movement causing so much pain and it was a lot of pain i cannot understate that or over, rather overstate that it was a lot of pain recording became completely impossible to do without really slowing down the healing process and causing myself an immense amount of discomfort so i was forced to wait for the sore to heal which took far longer than it really should have as i wasn't taking care of it properly at first I remember in those first few days when I thought it would be gone by like Wednesday at the time, I still ate chicken nuggets, which hurt like hell and just made it worse because my chicken nuggets are all crispy. I like them just a little crispy. So hard foods make it worse. Don't do that. Eventually, though, I got my act together and actually really started taking care of it, swishing around salt water, drinking milk, not eating any hard foods, trying not to talk if at all possible, and just holding the tongue still. And... Finally, the sore has subsided to a point where I feel confident in saying that I'm ready to get back to work and record. Now, at time of recording, it is Saturday, so I am fully planning to record at least one chapter for Bug in the Cave, my Patreon exclusive reading, as that reading has been neglected for a while now. Now, so long as I have the energy for it, I didn't sleep as well as I would like, so it's a bit of a concern, but so long as I have the energy for it, I'll also probably record multiple chapters, since, again, I've fallen behind on that reading especially. But I'm not going to promise that. So don't be surprised, those of you who follow me there or who pay attention, if there is only the one chapter today. I will get at least the one out. That much I will promise. More than that, can't. 
Uh, as a fun little anecdote, <laughs> before we end this video, uh, my dad's tongue went and did the exact same thing mine did. Uh, luckily, my newfound first-hand experience on the subject enabled me to guide him through it, and he seems to be taking it better and healing faster, too. Lucky prick. <sighs> anyway, that'll just about do it for me for this video. Uh, thank you all so much for listening. I'm so sorry for this, but I had no control over this one whatsoever. I am, but still, sorry for the wait. I'll get back to everything and get it all back up and moving as quickly as possible. Bug in the cave, that's on my to-do list for today. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, keep listening, people. Bye.